this is basically how reality comes into material manifestation how your thoughts become are made manifest into reality it starts with a thought and then slowly the elements um, combine into that um, into that reality but it starts with basically this is what I know about the the beginning of the universe, the construct of the universe as we know it, and before we could conceptualize it with a, a brain, basically everything started with a, a single thought, and that was like source, maybe thinking it wanted to experience a feeling of separateness because everything was just one big ball of energy wadded together like a rubber band ball and there's lots of pressure so source wanted to expand and it had to create a mirror copy of itself so that thought became two sonic sine waves and as those waves intermingled they created friction which was light and it was not that light was created out of matter as we create fire but light uh, metaphysical light and that metaphysical light became spiraling vortexes which created the illusion of matter which is a spin-off from the light so material reality is very easy to get stuck in if you're stuck there and if your thoughts are conceiving matter as real as the law of reality, then it's easy to get stuck there. Um, I was thinking about these four components in relation to human design and the hexagram. So um, if you're, for example, if you're stuck thinking about material reality and you're like, how do I pay the bills or how do I do something? Then you probably are in your, you know, it could be in your transference and you're distracted. Um, it could be that you need to go up three, one, two, three, and start with your thoughts and change the thoughts because that's really the beginning of the stream of reality but the 3d brain that's confused and gets caught up in things will be looking at things based on the material so-called laws of reality like Newton's laws or Einstein's laws but um, even according to human design and raw the all of that stuff is fictional anyways it's uh, it doesn't really hold true all the time uh, because it's based on the it's not based on the fundamental uh, so if we turn this upside down it would probably make more sense if we thought was the bottom of the pyramid as the foundation of reality which creates light and then sound and then matter so uh, also you can read juxtaposition theory in human design and I was reading that it's a fascinating part of human design which goes deeper than the tone and the color color tone base and uh, anyways uh, if you have any thoughts or questions about this topic the building blocks of reality I'd be happy to hear your comments